happy Monday. We're getting our life together today. I feel like I've been saying that every day, but for real, we got laundry going. I went to the grocery store, I did some cleaning up, and I also made some egg salad for AJ's lunches because I've been slacking on the lunch game and the dinner game and the breakfast game. I'm excited to take you guys along another work week. They're my favorite videos to make. So let's get into it. Ignore the trash bags behind me. AJ's gonna take those out when he gets home. Ignore that as well. We still need to fix that, but happy Monday. <laughs> It's not worth it? No. Why is it not worth it? Okay. We're waiting for a Zoom Zoom call. <laughs> what? The chair? The chair. Who cares, dude. Who? Who cares? That's not how you do it. Who? That's, that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. What? What? No. What? Bitch. Ever. <laughs> One more minute. Yeah, that's good. Just join now. You can't join early. Oh. That's awkward. Actually, it's just two people, so if they're on, we're on. You get me? Yeah. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. We're going to work. <laughs> I'm a little bit stressed because someone else called out today. So whenever that happens, it's just like a little bit of a more chaotic work day, obviously, because we're a small office, but it's gonna be okay. We are ready to go. I'm still wearing my old sneakers because of the whole Hoka situation. They should be coming in today, so I'll explain that later, but let's go to work and have a good day. Goodbye, Vinny. Hold the house down. What's up, guys? At work, it's actually lunchtime. Crazy morning, but I got Poi Tropical really quick to satisfy the soul. It is just really close to work. Super easy, super fast, super cheap. Tastes amazing. You just can't go wrong. So that's what's going on. We have a meeting at 12.30. It's 12.07. So I'm going to scarf this down and take a, de a deep breath because this morning was insane. And I have some new tech stuff that I want to show you if I have time today. That is the vibe for today. On my way home from work, today was an absolute whirlwind. And the crazy part is the person who was supposed to call out didn't call out or like they ended up coming and it was still a psycho day. And at 4.45, I get a call from someone telling me that I need to send our accountants the books for 2022 for everything. And if you're in accounting, you know, you just know all of the moments of procrastination are catching up with you in this one very moment and you're like frick luckily i did most of the work so i just sent those over but it's 5:30. i'm on my way home grateful to be done with today i just cannot wait for tax season to be done last night's zoom call was about taxes but our personal taxes and then today was about the business taxes so yeah let's go home aj picked up some belay for dinner bless him. I was supposed to make salmon, but BFFR, that's not happening. Really exciting news. My hookahs came in. I think they look freaking sick. Let me know what you guys think. They are freaking sick. They give me like two inches of height, which I love. I love the color. They are a little bit large, like clunky, but I think that's such a vibe. I am concerned about the arch support because I have such high arches that it's a nightmare to find shoes that don't strain my arches, especially after a long day of work or a long day of walking, but I think they're so cute. They're gonna get dirty for sure, for sure. Which is why I bought two pairs. <laughs> I don't know if I explained this yet, but originally these white ones were back ordered until June, July. So we placed an order, we were like, whatever. We're gonna wait for them to come in in the summer. So that's why I got the other 
cheap pair of Nikes last vlog. And then AJ convinced me to buy another pair of Hoka's, the orange and blue ones basically, or yellow and blue, so that I could have two pairs of shoes, one nice pair of Hoka's, and then one cheap pair of Nikes for like walking outside, things like that. And then these bad boys decided to ship. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have too many shoes and I don't know. So I'm gonna wait for those to come in and then make a decision on the three pairs that I have. Like I said, the only determining factor is gonna be if I can work a full day in them, if I can walk four miles in them. I don't think I've ever walked more than four miles, at least not regularly. And then I have this $44 pair that AJ does not love, which, okay, they're not as cute as the Hoka's, but they get the job done. So I'll keep you posted, but I'm really happy with these. So I guess the moral of the story is don't, okay, I hate this. Don't get discouraged if you see that your Hoka's are on back order for six months because they may ship at any time, at any time. They're sold out now. The white ones. Well, I don't know what to believe, honestly. Oh, maybe I can sell these then. That's what I, I, never mind. You literally said that. I know, I know, babe. I'm just pushing your gears. What? I'm grinding your gears. <laughs> Wednesday. I just did some personal work this morning before work. I paid my fertility bills. Finally, $1,400 gone. I paid the water bill. I saved our tax documents because I don't think I've ever saved them in like a proper file location. So I just saved all of my stuff on my hard drive. Like I've been saving my YouTube stuff here, but I also made a folder for like personal and boring stuff which is really late of me, but it needed to be done. I woke up in a really weird mood today. I had a dream that I was dying, okay? So I'm still clearly not in a good headspace. I'm trying really hard to get out of this terrible funk. I wouldn't even say a funk because that, that's like not even the right word. I'm just trying to get out of this weird negative headspace that I've been in, which is totally stimulated by stress. So if I can bring my stress levels down, I know I'll feel so much better. So that's the plan for today, is to go into work, life in general, knowing that I'll be able to tackle whatever comes my way. With the grace of God, I'll be able to get through it, work through it, work through any problem or situation that comes up, do so with peace in my soul. So I prayed that this morning. Let's hope that we have a decent day. The days have been decent, that's the thing. Like, yeah, there have been stressful moments in life and at work or whatever, but I think it's my mentality that's making it worse. So let's see what today brings. Yeah, I got my pen. I've been forgetting to put my pen in my scrubs before work. Life hack, happy Wednesday. Who am I kidding? Today is gonna be amazing because I get to wear my Hoka's and just look at them compared to my current sneakers. Just look at the size difference. Like these are huge. These are a little raggedy now. So I'll let you guys know how I like these at the end of the day. Okay, I'm at work. I'm trying this Chobani Zero Sugar Boston Cream Pie and it's really good. And then I put some cocoa powder almonds in it. It is fire. Amazing. Thank you for using what Indy Hoka to hand. Hi. Can I have a Dave's double cheeseburger, but instead of a bun, can I have it wrapped in lettuce? Okay. That's it. What do you want, Green baby? No drink, thank you. Yours is a sandwich without a bun? Correct. Okay, second window, Juanita. Thank you. All right, my first time ordering Wendy's lettuce burger. Looks pretty good. Upon first review, forgot to ask for ketchup, but I found one in the kitchen. All right. Taste how you would expect it to taste. So I'm happy with that. Okay, I wanna do a career chat like I always do in my work week vlogs. And this week I wanna talk about not necessarily help finding a job, but how to succeed at your job. And one of the ways that we can do that is by communicating confidently, especially when we have those one-on-ones with our manager or we're in a big meeting with a lot of important people and we need to speak up and share our ideas or even defend ourselves sometimes. Especially with the one-on-ones, I feel like I get questions all the time and I know when your boss is not your mom, like it is 
is for my case, it can be very, very intimidating. I mean, it even, it's even intimidating for me sometimes, but I can only imagine when your boss is somebody that is not your family or someone you don't know on a personal level, it can be very intimidating to have those one-on-ones. So I have a couple tips that I picked from the Indeed resources that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And if you didn't know, Indeed has a YouTube channel where they have videos going over mock interviews, mock scenarios, mock meetings, where they show you how you can speak confidently and get your point across. And they are partnering with me to bring you these resources. So here's a situation where someone's in a one-on-one -on -one with their boss explaining that they are overwhelmed and they need help with some of their projects. Take a look. I've been working on this project for a couple of weeks now while managing two others with similar deadlines and the volume has just become unsustainable. I've tried a number of solutions on my end, like time blocking my calendar, but at this point I'm looking for your support to help make things manageable. I have two solutions in mind. We could stagger the other two deadlines and keep me on the project, or we give the project to a different team member and keep the timeline intact. Which of these options do you think is best? She did a great job at communicating her needs while also being respectful and confident at the same time. You guys can watch the full video linked down below, but they also give four main tips that you can take home when you're talking to your boss. The first one is to come with talking points. So make sure you prepare ahead of time and come with examples or facts that will help solidify your case. The next tip is to practice saying it. So even if it's gonna be a quick five minute meeting with your boss, you can go ahead and talk through your talking points and make sure that it flows properly and you don't trip up on your words. This one is really fun and it's to change your mindset. And one of the ways you can do this is by practicing power poses. Let's say I'm going into a meeting in five, 10 minutes. I'm gonna practice the power pose, which is expanding my body, basically opening up my body to the world and taking up space. Instead of cowering like this, like, oh, I'm so nervous. What am I gonna do? No, we wanna trick our body into feeling confident by taking up space in a power pose. And the last tip that they give is to bring solutions like this woman did in this meeting. She brought solutions to the table. She didn't just say, I have a problem, fix it for me. No, she said, here's the problem, here's a couple solutions. What do you think is best? So yeah, like I said, you can check out the full video down below if you wanna hear all of those tips in detail and more scenarios. Indeed has amazing resources on their YouTube channel, completely free to you guys. If you've watched my previous work weeks, you know that they have interview questions and mock interviews and all types of career advice and I'm just so so lucky to be able to partner with them on today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that little career chat and comment down below if there's any tips that you guys have on how to feel confident especially in meetings or one-on-ones with your boss. <laughs>
I can't tell if they're comfortable or not because I didn't do enough walking and I want to make a decision if I need to return them. But I really, really like this color. Huh? Oh, you're <laughs> Really? Yeah, last night. You want to know what else happened last night? What happened last night? You left the table turned. Dude, come on. Let's, yeah. Let's, let's not. I'm talking about yeah. wrappers, food, <laughs> left an avocado out. And the bread and the toaster, right? You know what's hilarious? Today, this morning, I was like, damn, he really left the table turned. Dude. Well, okay, well, we can both do better, right? I'll turn the table, <laughs> please. And you left dishes in the sink. That's the same as me leaving food out. No, it's yes, not. Yes, it is. Because there's water on it. There, everything is clean. Everything is... Yeah, well, let's see. Age and I are gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna test out the Hoka's for a long distance. And by long, I mean one or two miles. But I'm feeling a little bit of strain on my arches, but I can't tell if I'm just making it up or not. So we're gonna do a walk. Yeah. He was cleaning out the cooler from the other, oops, the other weekend. Good morning, happy Thursday. We're off work today, thank goodness. I have been letting this laundry sit here. This is literally two loads of laundry that have been sitting here clean since the weekend. So I'm actually gonna go through and put things back in the dryer that need to be fluffed up, like t-shirts, scrubs, anything that I don't want wrinkled. And then I'm gonna make breakfast and I have a small to-do list for the day. I really, really need to wash my car because I haven't been doing that. And a couple of the things, gonna return my shoes hopefully okay I am really proud of today's breakfast we have two pieces of seed bread avocado eggs cheese turkey bacon tomato and I am so excited to eat this good morning good morning I just did the dishes look at these dumb ants eating this poison like come on guys be smart let's see what we have so I got another adapter for my laptop so I can keep one at work and one at home because I take my laptop to work every single day and I do editing for my mom, social media, and I just, I wanna lug as little things as possible. So I also got a charger to keep at work and a keyboard. Oh, and this is AJ's leave-in conditioner. This is what he uses to style his hair and it's been working great. He's been using it for years, but now that his hair is longer, he needs something more dense. He also uses this Axe Matte Wax. This is like tighter hold, um, but let me know if your man or you know someone who has longish hair, especially at the top, what do they use? Because gel is too, too like hard, I don't know. Okay, about the hokas, let me explain. So yesterday we went on a walk. My whole left side from my hip to my foot felt completely off, like to the point where I was in pain, which is very, very strange, sad, disappointing. All of the emotions, anger, frustration that I felt. My back was hurting. So. As I was coming home from work, I was like, my back kind of it kind of feels tight, it feels weird, which usually happens when I'm not wearing supportive shoes, but I didn't want to believe it because I spent so much money on these hokas, but it was just confirmed after going on the walk that it is not the shoe for me. And for some reason, only my left side of my body was in pain, but that might be because my right foot is half a size bigger than my left. So anyways, I'm going to try to return both pairs. I don't know if I'll be able to return the pair that I already wore because I don't know if they'll accept this. I'm going to try to clean it, but I'm going to go to a running store and have them like professionally analyze my foot and try on a million more pairs of sneakers because I will not settle until I find the perfect pair of shoes. I would go ahead and repurchase the shoes that I loved, these ones, but they're no longer available. So, RIP. I just scrubbed the back of this one with glass top cleaner and it got a little bit better, but definitely not good enough to return. So I am gonna sell these. It is what it is. I just wrapped Chelsea's baby shower gift because that is on Saturday, but I couldn't figure out how to put this in there. So I'm just gonna give this to her separately, but I got her the bottle warmer or like bottle sterilizer with bottles and milk bags and like that whole package. Okay, I just made myself a decaf 
protein coffee. So I did two shots of Nespresso and then a whole thing of the Fairlife Core Power. I still have a little bit left in here because it wouldn't fit in the cup, but these are so good. I'm doing decaf because I'm trying not to have too much caffeine, but you could definitely do this with regular for a real coffee. I am running a few errands. Today's such a weird day. I feel like I've been doing a bunch of stuff very randomly, but I'm returning the second pair of hokas because I didn't wear them at all. So I boxed that up, I'm gonna drop. Sorry, you can hear my worship music playing. And I also need to withdraw some cash because we like to have cash on hand and we use it for miscellaneous things. And then I may pick up some lettuce because I need some for a recipe that I wanna make tomorrow after work. And I already know that if I wait till tomorrow after work, I'm not gonna go. So TBD on that one. All right, I am home. I'm gonna clean the inside of my car with this leather cleaner and a microfiber. And then I'm gonna vacuum the floor here. And then we'll see if I do the outside, but if anything, I'll be happy that I did the inside at least. <coughs> Bless me, thank you. Good morning, happy Friday. Feeling a little bit congested this morning, but anyways. I'm wearing my $45 Nikes today because number one, they look fine. And I think I'm gonna keep this pair as my lower end everyday shoe. I ordered some arch support inserts from Amazon that should be here tomorrow. So I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that these are comfortable without the arch support, but you never really know until a 12 hour day. Anyways, I'm gonna keep the inserts. Hopefully they're comfortable and I can put them in any shoe that I'm wearing. And then we're gonna go from there. Let's see what happens. I'll keep you posted on the shoe debate, but for now, these are gonna be my work shoes. They look decent. They're pretty comfortable as of right now, and they were only $44, so we gotta do something, right, Vinny? The end of the day, I'm definitely sick. <laughs> my throat is killing me, and yeah, but other than that, it was a pretty good day. I did end up not wearing those shoes that I told you that I was wearing. It's just, I don't want to dirty them if I'm not 100, 100, 100% sure about my shoe situation because I may need to return them. Oh my gosh, I'm so congested. Hope you guys enjoyed this chaotic shoe vlog. I picked up some offer dolls for dinner because I have to edit this video by tonight because tomorrow is my sister-in-law's baby shower so i'm gonna be busy with that and then it's easter so yeah hope you guys enjoyed i love you so much don't forget to check out indeed's youtube channel completely free and they have amazing resources and don't forget to follow me on instagram and sometimes i post over on tiktok too so look me up over there but i'll catch you guys in the next vlog bye